to the channel, fans out there watching in. Uh, I want to talk. I said I had to come up. I just had to touch on this topic, man, because I've been looking at the news and I've been seeing people protest about getting back to work, you know. And I said I would come, you know, and put my two cents in, you know. Um, should have let people go back to work and um, should things get back to normal and all that stuff. And I said I wouldn't touch on it for all my detailers of the world. Uh, just everybody that enjoy my channel, whether you're a detailer or not a detailer. And pretty much the message for everybody. And I'm just going to tell the truth about it, man. And I'm looking at NBC, I think it's the NBC Nightly News. And I'm seeing people protesting about things opening back up and folks going back to work and just trying to get the economy back rolling and just get things back to normal, you know. Now, my two cents is, <laughs> and I just had to add my two cents in there, you know. My two cents is, man, now, if the government really ain't helping these people enough, you know, I feel like they should just open everything back up and let people get back to work. Because to be honest, even though government cutting $1,200 checks out there, you know, uh, to be honest, $1,200 ain't no money, you know. <laughs> Twelve hundred dollars is peanuts, you know. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. That really, seriously, ain't no money. Twelve hundred dollars, nothing, you know. And you know, and then the thing that shakes me up a little bit, and I see the people protesting, and twelve hundred dollars won't even cover some people's mortgage, you know. And then people got, they got to eat, they got car payments, you know. What I'm saying they got kids. They got to get, um, they got to have money to uh, pay the light bills and all that kind of stuff and water bills and um, or whatever. The bills still roll on, you know, no matter what. I mean, you might not have to pay them right then and there, but it's still piling up. At some point, you still got to pay them mortgage fees and stuff. So, um, you know, the way I see it, if the government ain't going to help these people the way they should help them, they should just own up everything and let the folks go back to work. You know, that's just my opinion of it, you know, because that from the way I'm seeing it, the government ain't helping these people enough. They talk about they trying to pass a bill now to help small businesses and all that kind of stuff. What about the individual people? You know, $1,200 ain't going to cut it for most individuals. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> some people make six, dollars a week on a job, you know. So they probably like $1,200 ain't nothing to them. You know, they're ready to get back to work. I'm just keeping it real. And I'm just seeing it all over. People protesting. That. And I just had to put my two cents in there on what I think. I think they should just own up everything. But still, you know, do the social distancing thing six feet away or whatever. But they still should own up everything and let people go on back to work. Because I'm going to tell you why. Government ain't helping these people enough. The people standing in line, like, you know, they're standing in line for food banks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they waiting forever to get $1,200. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I like like $1,200 really a million dollars or something, you know. They're just throwing enough peanuts out there. They, they, they hush up. They're just throwing around to a few people so everybody else can shut up and just think, sit back and wait on it, you know, like $1,200, really a lot of money. You know, come on now. $1,200 ain't no money. That's peanuts, man. I mean, most people, I, I had $1,200 before the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? $1,200 ain't no money. So, really, $1,200 ain't helping nobody. So, basically, I would say keep the $1,200 and just open up everything where people could go back to work. That's just my thought on it. Because, just face the fact, $1,200 ain't going to do a lot of helping nobody. You might pay a car payment, house note. Light bill pretty much is gone. Then you look next month, the same thing, roll right back over again, you know. So, um, but if people can go and get back to work, everybody can get into the mix of everything. Everything can get back to normal. Just study the practice the social distancing still. I think people should be allowed to open back up because um, people need the money, you know, to buy food and.
bills is piling up, you know. So that's what I think. Uh, I just had to stop in and uh, put my two cents on it. And what it all boils down to, the government ain't helping these people enough. That's what I think. Unemployment, you got, what, can't get through the unemployment line problem. It probably stretched from here to the next thousand miles, no more, or longer. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, um, you gambling. Can I get somebody today? Can I get somebody tomorrow? Can I get somebody the next day? You know, unemployment rates is so high. It's just so many people trying to get it. So, instead of you waiting on that, it's best to just open the doors and let people go on back to work. That, that's just what I think. Uh, like I said, it's had to practice social distancing and all that kind of stuff and just sanitize the place and spray Lysol or whatever you get to kind of keep everything under control, you know. So, because really, to be honest, and y'all can comment below, the government ain't helping these people enough. You know what I'm saying? These people need help now. They talk about helping small businesses and all that kind of crap. What about the people, the individual people that need help? They got mortgages and all that stuff to pay. $1,200 ain't going to cut it. You'll make that working anyway. You know what I'm saying? If your job ain't paying $1,200, you make that in two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Some people make half that in a week. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> $1,200 ain't really much help to most people. And I'm just keeping it real. Y'all comment below. All right? I'm out of here. Peace.